Are you wondering what this thing right here, a net rig, is supposed to imitate? Well, I've been throwing this thing for a long time and I've gotten this question about a thousand times. So today I'm really gonna try to answer that. I don't know why I brought Karma into this video other than the fact that I just love her. She's not really super pumped about this right now. Okay, okay, go back. For those of you who are new to my channel, what you don't know yet is that I'm an absolute Ned Rig fanatic. I've been using this little bait right here for close to 10 years. I grew up in Kansas and learned about the Ned Rig from some of the OG Ned Riggers, including Ned Katie himself, who is the person that actually really made this bait what it is today. He's never gonna take credit for the whole thing, but I mean, it's named after him after all. What I'm basically trying to say here is I'm not trying to brag necessarily, but I've been fishing it a long time and I feel like I've got some value that I can offer you. And uh, that's a big portion of what my channel is all about is bringing this kind of information to the web so that way more people can catch fish. Now I know what you're thinking, you clicked on this video because you want to know what the heck this thing imitates, but before we get to that, I want to define what a Ned Rig actually is. My definition of a Ned Rig is as such. A two and a half to three and a half inch plastic could be bigger, could be smaller, but reality is it's really in that three inch range. And then it's affixed to a small jig, probably less than one eighth ounce. The other thing that I think a lot of people forget about is that a Ned Rig really doesn't have to be a an STRD or other stick bait style plastic. It really can be numerous things. You could use something like a TRD Bugs or any other creature baits. You could use something like a cray, crayfish. You could use a curly tail grub. You could use more of like a shad or minnow imitator. Um, usually it's just like that three inch plastic, three and a half inch plastic or less, whatever. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a finesse TRD. But because 95% of the time I fish one and 95% of the time you fish one, you are throwing like a finesse TRD or some other type of stick bait. We're gonna talk about this because I know that's what you're curious about. What the heck does this, what is this supposed to look like? This doesn't look like anything. Well, I believe it imitates everything. Let me explain. What do bass eat? Bass eat crayfish and bluegill and shad and minnows and worms and all sorts of things, right? What do all those things have in common? They're all very similar in size, or they can be. I know what you're thinking. Ethan, a perch could be like six inches long, whereas a minnow is only two and a half. I get it. The point is, is that there are so many different types of forage that can be in this little small three inch size. And now I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, it might be three inches, but a bluegill doesn't look like a little finesse TRD, Ethan. <laughs> I get that, I get that, but here's the other thing you gotta consider. Do you think that you have a bigger brain or a bass has a bigger brain? I pray that you think that you have a larger brain than a bass. What I'm saying is that you cannot compare how a bass thinks and how a bass sees to how you think and how you see. Just because we as bass fishermen constantly fall for the next great thing as far as fishing lures go, oh wow, that's a $27 fishing lure that has a sparkles on it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. Just because we kind of we constantly do that kind of stuff and I'm just as bad as anybody, doesn't mean that a bass necessarily sees things that way. I mean, seriously. When's the last, what the hell does a ribbon tail, a 10 inch ribbon tail worm actually look like underwater? It's pretty common for fishing lures not to look like real forage. Let's be real. Okay, so now circling back to what I'm talking about here though, this really does look like everything because one thing you have to remember, okay, I know you're watching YouTube, but do me a favor real quick, close your eyes and let's pretend. You're a three pound bass or whatever size bass you want to be. You can be six inches, you can be 12 pounds, it doesn't matter. You're sitting on a rock pile in eight foot of water and you're just chilling. You know, you're listening to some good old Skinner. You know, you're just having a good time. All of a sudden you look up, it's a sunny day, the water's pretty clear and you see a three inch figure uh, swimming above you. You can't really tell what it is because quite honestly, um, when you're eight foot below the water surface and there's something swimming above you and you're looking up into the sun, you're probably just gonna see a silhouette. So whether that's a minnow or a crawdad or a frog, it does not really matter. You don't know what the hell it is, but here, here's what you are. You're a bass, you're an opportunistic feeder, and you don't want that to get away. So you eat it. And you don't care if it's a minnow or a bluegill. When you look at a minnow and a bluegill from underneath, guess what? They're both narrow. They might look like this. They might look like a silhouette. Eh? Eh? You see where I'm going? And now you're probably like, well, but Ethan, a finesse TRD doesn't have a tail. You gotta stop thinking about exactly what it looks like. You gotta start thinking about the shape. Oh, I freaked out my other camera. You gotta start thinking about the shape and the silhouette and what that looks like. When I look at this up against light, I just see a three inch figure. And that could look like a minnow. That could look like so many other things. Bluegill, it does not matter. Yellow perch, shad, 
they all look the same when you're looking at them from beneath and you're staring up into the sunlight. You know, the same principle really does apply against the bottom. The other thing to consider is that against the bottom, there's always muck and there's sticks and rocks and that sort of thing. And if this is hopping and shaking around it, the bass a lot of times isn't gonna get a great look. And if they do get a great look, sure, maybe a few turn away. But again, a bass is an opportunistic feeder. They're not gonna see this and say, um, I don't think that's a crawdad. They're gonna see this and say, it's about the shape of a crawdad. And quite honestly, I don't give a crap that it doesn't have claws. It looks really juicy and scrumptious and I want it in my mouth. So overall, my point is, is that this can really imitate just about anything that a bass will eat. And just because we see it and say, you know what, that's a 1 15th ounce jig with a size one aught hook and a, you know, a three inch plastic, blah, 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 blah. A bass says, that looks like a meal to me, you son of a gun. So the other thing I wanna talk about is the fact that you really can take this and make it look even more like the forage that you are trying to hone in on. So let's say you're on a body of water that has just a ton of yellow perch and you really feel like the bass are honed in on yellow perch. You might still use this TRD, but you might switch to a color that mimics them, like a perfect perch or other types of plastics that might have a little bit more yellow in them. Or if you're trying to mimic a crawfish, obviously you can use crawfish style baits, or you can just use crawfish type colors. The way you work the bait and the color you choose is really what dictates what it's probably gonna mimic in the water. The reality is the bass might not see it as what you're trying to imitate. They're just going to see it as a meal. And then the last thing I'll say is that if you want to become a Ned Rig master and get, become an expert at this little guy right here, all you got to do is click that hashtag that I put below. It's Ned Rig for life. Otherwise you can type that up in the search bar. You can click on my channel, whatever. I've got a ton of content on it, such as what gear to use, how to work this thing, so on and so forth. I've got tons of Ned Rig action on my channel and I feel that you can become an expert if you go watch it. And then lastly, make sure to pick up a few net rigs, go toss them in your local body of water. You can mimic whatever bait fish you'd like and you will catch fish. Have fun. We'll catch you next time.